Okay, so do you think the flea is a symbol of love or sin? Love or sin, the flea? Because originally the guy thinks it's love, the girl thinks it's actually? I agree, sin. Yeah. Really? I think it might be a conflict of love and sin. Like, you gotta throw the ball. Her, but she doesn't want to commit the sin. I don't think he loves her. He wants, yeah. he wants sex. Yeah, I don't think he loves her. I think he always knew the sin. He was just trying to I think the flea um, shows, like, to him how, like, insignificant she is and, like, how he doesn't, like, think of it as anything. You're going to write down the best three comments you hear. Um, I think that there's a lot, like, that he wants to make it sound like it's a lot more of like, what than it is to her, so that she'll do it. But he's just kind of like, hey, what's the other thing? She, he's just trying to convince her, so it makes it sound better than it is. Well, he, like, says, like, the flea is you and I. And, like, so I, I don't know, like, obviously it's other things, but I think he's, like, making the flea, like, something between them two, like a, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but there we go. Um, in the first stanza, I think he realizes that his um, plan to get her to sleep with him isn't working, so by the second stanza, he starts using, like, um, three, which is, like, a biblical reference, and with this, he kind of, um, whenever you bring up, like, the Bible or any kind of godly reference, it kind of gives authority to what you're saying, and also, um, so I think that's like, it was a little bit of desperation too, because he really wants her and she wasn't buying it. I feel like if it would have been love, he would have used something better than a flea to describe it, because there are probably better things than saying that it's kind of like a flea. I don't think he was describing their love as a flea, I think he was just kind of saying that like... We, I mean, maybe there wasn't even like a flea that necessarily bit both of them, but it was kind of like we both like want it. Like I clearly want it, and I'm pretty sure you want it. And so there's like some kind of biblical thing that's like if you think it, then it's already kind of like you've committed a sin. And so like since we're both thinking about it, we might as well just do it. And so it was just easier to say the flea because of their the like historical context of their bloods being mixed and not necessarily like, oh, I'd love to flee. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you think we could relate it to nowadays, though? Like, how this poem is, you think we could say that it's more like how guys will try to talk us into having sex with yes. they know, or, you know, you throw it in as we told us, pursue them to try and have sex with us or something. I agree with Skylar. I agree with Skylar. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily the guys. I didn't have questions. Thing. So I mean, everybody stereotype like types the guys as wanting sex, but it might be different than that because sometimes it could be the girl. And because what I have here somewhere. Oh. That's interesting. So thirsty. <laughs> what? No. What? All right. The reader is like the first answer. The reader is kind of saying like, um, if he had more space and time, he could compliment her and like um, he could focus on each part of her body until he got to her heart, which is that like kind of symbolizes sex in this uh, poem. And then he also kind of tells us that like life is short and uh, death is forever, so they should like um, make it last while they're still alive and like do what they got to do. Uh, while they have time, and um, and he said like if they if they should die before he takes her virginity, then their uh, then their like his sexual desires will turn to dust, and there's like repercussions from that. But if they like choose to do it, then it'll kind of like free them and make them feel like well, not, not complete. So that's just from that guy's perspective. Uh. I feel like this poem is kind of this guy bragging about how good he is at sex. Because it's like, you make my vegetable garden grow, and if you don't do it, you'll have regrets after you die. <laughs> you'll be sitting there, dead in your coffin, like, damn. I wish I had that, dude. I really do.
do. <laughs> now I can't because I'm dead. <laughs> but <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it, it, it's really weird to see kind of this theme in these poems of Shakespearean and a little bit after times is that there really seemed to be nothing to do in England except just, it's all these poems are about. It's never anything like, even mountains. If it's about a mountain, oh, this mountain. So it, you can like, mm, he's talking about something. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Philip, I agree. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I think that... He definitely wanted to have physical <laughs> relations with her. Physical relations. And he was just trying to play off the like whole like you for a long time. I, 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 I agree as well. He was using a technique by trying to praise her and like praising his sexual abilities as well. And he was using the seize the day technique that we talked about like you wanted to see something else <laughs> he was trying to like say that like we like like george said we have to do it now he's like today's now we have to see something uh, i think he was saying how he was praising himself how he had the ability to fully satisfy her in every way and um basically time is running out that if she doesn't sleep with him it's gonna be a big regret um and that he, you know, he did use some romantic ways, such as comparing it to the Indian Ganges at the time. He uh, used some nice words to try to try to convince her to do it. He was like, I feel like he was trying to like say stuff to make her have sex with him, but she wasn't like being sincere really. And he was just kind of like, because also he said he kind of like said he cares more about her body than her actual like personality and he only devoted the hundred years to her face and like 30,000 of her body so he probably has not concerned about I agree uh, <laughs> uh, because <laughs> like I don't know I feel like if he actually liked her he wouldn't have said like all that kind of physical sexual stuff you know, he would have been, like, more on personality, yeah. I forgot who said it, but someone said how the author uses God to gain authority over the woman and try to use that to convince the woman to sleep with him. I thought that was good. Okay, uh, I like Lacey's comment that he's not comparing her to a flea or her love, or their love to a flea, but just using it as, like, a vessel to represent, um, the reasoning behind his motives. Uh, I like the one was like, could he not buy me food or flowers? Pretty good. I don't, know, I don't remember who said it, but someone went apart from the group and said he wasn't creepy. I liked how uh, Skylar related it to present day, how like people can still try to do that now, to try to like find reason to uh, persuade some someone you know, into doing something that they're not comfortable. I thought that was interesting. And uh, also, like when um, I forgot who it was related to the plague and how that, like, um, they both didn't have the plague, so Very almost, good. like that makes sense. Very good. I don't know who said it, but they basically like summed up the whole poem. It was the guy only wanted sex, so all right. that's all he was trying to do. Um, that he was uh, reassuring her that it was going to be okay instead of trying to scare her off. Uh, I liked when someone said, like, brought up the Bible because, like, he was trying to get authority in his point of argument. All right. Oh, I like that. Uh, it, like, this guy's creepy, but like, it's, he's not asking in a romantic way. Very good. I kind of enjoyed like a discussion that how they interpret the relationship between the boys and the guy and the girl. And that was interesting. I had two, and I said Joe's point about how he wants to be with her forever, but he doesn't actually say anything except about her body uh, in the poem. And when Trevor like brought up the point that she was probably younger than him, and so even though it was kind of normal at the time that it would have been kind of creepy if he had done it with other folks. Very good. Um, 
think I like the comment that Cole made about how, like, he was saying that, like, the time is running out, but he does compare her to, like, nice things, like the Dan, Dan juice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that word. So, like, yeah, I like that comment. That was a nice comment. That wasn't disgusting. Um, I like the comment about, like, you can't stop the sun, so you can't control time and stuff like that. But, like, I, like, someone said, like, um, you'll, like, like almost, like, seize the day, so it made me think of, like, Carpe Diem and, like, how the author was kind of, like, I mean, the poet was kind of thinking about, like, you know, like, seize the day, she'll regret it and stuff like that. Very good. Do I give it to someone? Um, I liked, it was Connor who said it, who said he liked that, that, uh, he's doing the seize the day technique that kind of shows you that he's putting, like, more inspiration into the thought of, like, what he was trying to achieve. So, yeah. that's <laughs> like they, someone said to me about how like all that they had to do was like like have sex in that time period, and like it wasn't. They, and like someone else said that like it wasn't written to, for any like one specific person, and so like he could have just like written it and like used it on like several different girls, and like it probably could have worked. Tried hard enough. Yeah. 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 I liked what Joseph said about like how the sun rolled around the earth and compared it to that, and they always thought they were gonna die. So. Awesome, that's pretty good. I thought Dane's song reference was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agreed with, with what they said about like him not actually caring about the girl at all and just wanting to have sex with her. Pretty good. Don't be afraid to um, I agreed, or I liked how they decided to compare the two poems, and I like the things they found in them. <laughs> um, I like how some, I don't know who said it, but I like how someone said that they didn't blame the guy for it. Like, they kind of made it look like a different point of view. Um, I thought it was interesting that when the girls were talking about their poem, they were all like, oh, well, it's the guy's fault for blaming us. And then when the guys talked, they were like, well, maybe it's the girl's fault so of wanting to have sex. So I think it's it's a human quality that everybody kind of wants that desire. So I think it's it just, it's interesting to see like the way that um, there's a lot of uh, stereotypes that guys are the ones that only want it. But yet, it's just like a human quality that we both have and have a desire for. I thought it was kind of like what she was saying. I thought it was interesting how the girls were blaming the guy and how the guys started blaming the girl. And you think that uh, the girls just think that the guy was trying to get her to have sex and that girls always think that that's what a guy's trying to do. And in this one, they were blaming the girl because she didn't want to have it. And it's just, it's an interesting point. It's like, it's not the girl's fault that even if you guys were together for a long time, she doesn't want to have sex, she doesn't have to have it. Oh. Simple as that, she don't owe you nothing. All right. Girl power. All right. Are you, I think, I was going to say the same thing, where I think if genders played a role, and if they were reversed, then it would have been different. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, I thought it was funny how, like, when the girls went, we all thought that it was, like, the guy's fault and how, like, the guy was gross and, like, weird and stuff like that. And then when the guys went, a lot of them were like, oh, well, it's the girl's fault because she won't, like, do it with them. Um, I liked Cole's comments where he said he, um, he made the comparison between the two poems saying that he used, like, authority from God to try to persuade them. And then I also liked how he said that there was, like, a hint of, like, cockiness to the poem, but he did try to flatter her, comparing her to a river. So I thought that was nice. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, I found it interesting how they said that the guy didn't really care about her as a person, he just wanted to sleep with her, and so he even used like the religion comment about like, he'll use anything to sleep with her, so I found that interesting.